Hey everybody, it's Emily and welcome to the Daily Evolution. Today is Spiritual Saturday and it is one of my favorite things to talk about and to share because I feel like it is, in addition to all the other aspects of um, the week that when we talk about different topics. So I don't know if you guys, for those of you who maybe are just finding this, um, Mond Money Mondays, Turf Tuesdays, What For Wednesdays, Treat Thursdays, Fitness Friday, Spiritual Saturday, and Soulmate Sunday. So those are the topics that we talk about every single week. And um, you get a little 10 minute video directly to your inbox if you so choose. So you can sign up if you're not already signed up. You can sign up below. Um, but today I wanted to talk about um, within the spirituality uh, feel that it's such a big broad term right spirituality can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people and for me I want to talk about fear today I want to talk about um, responding to things out of fear and responding to them out of love before we hop into our little deep breathing session um, so it's really interesting to me when I first um, got exposed to this topic it was actually from if you've not heard of it uh, I would highly recommend conversations with God um, one of my neighbors my childhood neighbor a gal that lives next door to my mom like all these years growing up living next door to her I never knew that she had this like infinite was wisdom and this deeply like oh god this depth to her spirituality that I, I just never even knew right she babysat me when I was a tiny little girl and it wasn't until you know uh, maybe about a decade ago that I reconnected with her and we had a glass of wine and she shared with me the conversations with God we had this really amazing conversation and we're like contemplating life and the universe and just all things and and um, she shared it with me so that was my first exposure to conversations with God there's books one two and three it is it spoke to me on such a deep level you guys like oh my god it made so much sense and so um we can talk about that. I was just gonna do a little book review it's great read it listen to it I have it on audible and I have it uh in a hard copy um the, the biggest takeaway, well, there's so many takeaways, but one of the biggest takeaways for me at that time was we respond out of love or do we respond out of fear? And almost any negative emotion can be tracked back to fear, right? Um, so if I'm feeling sad, it's because there's fear there somewhere underneath there. If I'm feeling, you know, depressed, fear there somewhere underneath there. If I'm feeling angry, if I'm feeling frustrated about, you know, any negative emotion that we are feeling can be attached or tracked back. Like the root of it is, is, is in fear. And on the flip side, any positive emotion that I have, um, happiness, joy, um, exuberance, like any, anything like that is, um, uh, can be the root of that is love and so to think about what and to become aware of my emotions and my emotional state of, of being and my emotional state of mind and how when I am experiencing whatever emotion it is that I'm experiencing I can go to the root and recognize that I'm responding out of fear or I'm responding out of love and that I want to be the kind of person that responds to things out of love even when it's difficult so that was a really like mind-blowing interesting um, just a fascinating thing for me to begin to observe and to notice about myself. And what I noticed is that I was spending a lot of time in a fear-based responses and how it felt so terrible and that it was actually pretty easy for me to shift and switch. I was able to, um, my cat is being a little brat, sorry guys. Uh, when I, when I, got to the root of it, I was able to really shift it uh, pretty easily. Like it didn't take a lot of effort for me to go like, oh wow, I'm really responding to that out of fear. I want to respond out of love. And so what, what can I do to shift that? Okay. So, um, think about some of the, the like things, situations maybe that you're struggling with right now. Um, you know, are you feeling disappointment? Are you feeling, you know, what is it that's going on for you or coming up for you? And how can you, um, begin to shift that into a more of a positive response, a love-based response. Um, so uh, let's take a few moments and do some deep breathing exercises. Like 
we always do. Remember that it's a count in for four, hold at the top for four, out for four, hold at the bottom for four. If you're new to the daily evolution, there is a video in the bottom of the email that, that goes through this uh, technique, this breathing technique. And all we're trying to do is just quiet our mind and allow for, for some clarity to come through let go of the rat race, all the brrrr that our mind is experiencing. And if you mess up or you lose count or you're not quite sure where you were, it's okay, just start wherever you are. There's no wrong way of doing this. And if you don't wanna breathe, if you don't wanna do the counts, like just sit quietly and just really quiet your mind. When a thought comes in, usher it out. When a thought comes in, usher it out. Let's do about another minute of this. Remember that 10 minutes a day can transform your life on so many levels. Where are you responding to fear? What are the emotions that you've got around your kids or your family, your mom, coworkers? Your job? If you weren't here for Treat Thursday, I'm sorry, if you weren't here for what for Wednesday, we talked about, you know, what's your what for, what's your purpose? So begin to like, you can bring that into this conversation as well, right? Like, are you responding to that out of fear or love? Are you opening up to that? Are you bringing that in, allowing that in? One of my mentors, Steve Beck, if you don't know him, you should absolutely follow him and check him out. Um, one of, uh, he said to me at one point, like, or has said to me multiple times, like, when somebody gives you a compliment, are you really letting it in? You're really allowing that to come in. And I'm like, oh God, I could do a much better job of that in some ways, right? I could really open my heart and respond in a totally different way. Okay, so we talked about responding out of fear and love and how those emotions are the root of the, all of your emotions are attached to either fear or love. So create an awareness around that. Begin to think about scenarios and situations in your life, people uh, that are creating some of those emotions and, and how you could shift that. What would it take for you to get to a place of uh, love instead of fear in, in terms of the response that you're having, the emotional, the emotional reaction that you're having to those people? Um, and then take one action. What's one action that you can take? So I want you just to think about that for a moment. Maybe it's having, you know, just quieting your mind, doing a little bit of deep breathing when you're feeling frustrated with them and how can you shift the like, I'm feeling frustrated and they're doing the best that they can with what they've got. Um, so I'm gonna let them be. My work today is not about changing them. My work is about like allowing and accepting them for exactly who they are, regardless of what's going on with them. And that means I'm more of an enlightened being. I don't need them to change for me. 
those are a couple of little things that you can do. So I'd love to hear from you guys and how you shifted and changed or where you're noticing that um, emotional response. Is it attached to fear? Is it attached to love? What's going on for you? Um, so don't hesitate to either reply back to this email and let me know um, or just let me know on social media, whatever, whatever social media channel that you are checked in with me on, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. I hope you have an amazingly spiritual Saturday and uh, I love you so much. Bye-bye.